Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is one of the hardest tessellations I've ever done, and it, and it just kind of proves if you have any artistic ability, which I have none. But MC Etcher was a person who did mathematical art where it would all fit inside of itself, and I've done many videos on tessellations, and I've always wanted to do the lizard. And this is his lizard. It's not a very good copy of it. But the only way to really, that i found to do it is to start with a six-sided polygon and just do this. And I'm not suggesting you do exactly like I did. Hopefully you can do a better job. But you need to do three different patterns. And so I'm just gonna kinda use this one for reference. So I'm going to start up here at this node and I'm going to go here and I'm just using my straight point. Well, I'm evidently not using my straight point line. And I'm just going to kind of roughly draw this and you can quickly see if you have any artistic ability, which I have none. And I'm going to show you here in just a second. So you've got one done and you just want to go from node to node. Then you want to uh, control D and make a duplicate of that. And then take your center rotation and put it on that node and rotate it 20 to 120 degrees. And you can see you've already messed up because the head doesn't look right. So you would just go back, go back twice to get rid of your duplicate. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Let's take away this. Well, I didn't get rid of my duplicate. And we can see if we did. So there we go. And that's still not probably perfect because you're trying to work off what this kind of looks like on my first drawing. So let's just take out this node and see what happens this time. We'll just delete it. Maybe we'll bring this one up a little bit. And then go Control D and make a copy of it. Hit your rotation, move it to this axis. Rotate it 120 degrees. That doesn't look half bad. And then you would do the same thing all the way around. And I'm not gonna take the time in the video. And you could actually bring in one of his tessellations and maybe kind of use it as a guideline but it needs to be where the corners are at the the axis and this is really complicated is not for the faint of heart but you can go back and change every third one if you don't like the way something looks like this one is part of this one so let's just tell you what let's get rid of this one and let's just change this one a little bit. We'll get our shape tool. And let's just alter this a little bit. See what happens. Go control D and make a copy of it. My rotation's already there and just rotate it 120 degrees. And that doesn't look half bad. And then you can just take your polygon away. And if you set your polygon on pretty high, like five inches, you can kind of see what your lizard's going to look like more so. Once you've done this, it will all fit together and just keep putting, keep, it'll keep going forever and ever. I've done some, uh, I've done a clock. Uh, I used to have this file, but I can't find it anymore. So play around with that. Take a, you know, maybe take a, go to, MC at your website and try to find this and uh, digitize it so you kind of know what it looks like and you can see where this is the tail the tail is going to fit in there this is the head the head's going to fit in there this is really complicated it takes a long time it, by far the longest uh, tessellation I've ever done and I'm still not 100% happy with it anyway hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching